I bet. I was good, JT. It was good, bro. All right, so welcome to the channel. Um, first thing I want you to do is like explain who you are and what your your channel is about. And you just started recently. Yeah, so my my channel is Jocking Reacts. Um, I basically do reaction videos. Um, I'm just starting, really. I'm trying to, like you said, I just, I'm just starting. So I'm trying to figure out what I really want to do with it. I'm just doing reactions right now, just music video reactions. Honestly, whatever I see on the internet, just reactions. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, nah, that is dope, though. That's dope. I've seen some guys blow up with the reaction channels, though. Yeah, I've seen a couple. I hear, I hear it's hard, though. Oh, yeah, for real? Yeah, I mean, I hear it's hard with the reactions, but. Yeah, for sure. And when you start getting bigger, like, some of the stuff you can't, like, really monetize. Right. Yeah, and, so. And with the, like, with the timing of it, too, because, like, when you're doing reaction videos, it's more about talking, so you got to talk a whole bunch. More <laughs> than the video playing, people be like, like, why you keep pausing the video, all that, but it's like, because, you know, these big artists, like, if you play more than, like, 10 seconds of their song, like, it's over for it. Yeah, it's over. So. It's funny. You know, my channel, I go out there talking to, talking to girls and stuff like that, and guys uh, be like, when I break it down to stop, guys be like, why are you talking so much? <laughs> for real? Yeah, this is that's how the got point. Like, that's what you came for. Exactly. <laughs> but like, so what made you what made you start your channel though? Oh son. Like when I was um when I was younger, I used to always search like how to get girls on the internet. For real? Yeah. That's <laughs> and then at crazy. one point I never thought about that. Yeah. Nah, I struggled at one point. But then after like throughout college, I learned how to do the shit. And I always want to start a YouTube channel. So it's like, so what, what else to talk about than what you're good at, right? Yeah, you hand you handed down the knowledge. <laughs> I mean, you handed down the knowledge too, bro. Ain't no one better. Yeah, bro. Definitely, bro. I'm going to share whatever I can. Right. So let's jump into topics then. What you think is like the most important thing in order to like increase your dating life? To increase your dating life? Or oh, um, I mean, it depends because like, when I was younger, I would when I was younger, like I feel like popularity, like clout or whatever, like that type of stuff like ran like, you know, your dating life. Cause it's like if you if you popular or you know, if you everybody know you from like high school, middle school, college, all that, that's what make it easy to get girls. I feel like as you get older, you gotta start kind of like adding value to yourself. Cause like as you get older, like women not trying to really hear about clout. <laughs> you know what I'm how popular you are they want to hear about what you what's your goals what you got going on in your life like that type of thing so i mean i would say if you under maybe like 21 22 23 then i mean you know what I'm saying just be be fresh you know have your dress game right and it's confidence too like when you younger it's, it's more about confidence like they want to you know know that you're confident in what you're saying and you're not scared when you get older, I would just say try to add a little value to your life. Add a little value to yourself, you know, like make sure you, you got a job. Make sure you know how to talk to women. Make sure, because after a certain age, women don't want to hear about the clout no more. They, they want they want to know what substance you got. No, bro. When I was in high school, what helped me the most is like, yo, I joined the basketball team and I was cooking in track. So oh, that yeah, yeah. I had clout back in it, so that's when oh, I. Oh yeah, like, that's the clout. Yeah, <laughs> school, as long as you got clout, it's like it don't matter. But like what I learned in middle school, like this what I like. So this what I learned. Like I, I used to talk to older dudes when I was like middle school, and they were just like, "Bro, honestly, like it's gonna sound bad. No, it's gonna sound keep, bad. Keep it hundred, bro. But it's like honestly, you just gotta tell them what they want to hear. Like even if you don't mean it for real, like. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. You gotta tell them what they want to hear, even if, even if they, even if you don't mean nothing you saying, you just gotta say it. You let them know they beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's funny as shit, right? It's like most guys don't really want relationships and shit, right? That's true. But then it's like every girl wants relationships, and then you get that bad girl. It's like you tell her, like, yo, I'm not looking for a relationship no more. Well, she gonna she gonna bounce, so you gotta give her what you wanna hear. It, hey, that's, the, hey, that's the crazy part, cause it's like you and me females, and they'd be like, "Oh, um, you know, what I'm saying, just be honest with me, just keep it a hundred up front." But it's like, come on, bro, let's be real. If if I keep it a hundred with you, 
it's like what's the it's like my chances of you know what I'm saying my chances of getting what I'm trying to get are going slim to none. Like if I tell you like, like no, nah, I'm honestly just trying to do whatever I'm trying to do and that's it. I'm not really trying to be with you. It's like so it's like it's a hard situation because it's like you want to be honest, but you know what I'm saying it's hard at first. I feel like once you. I feel like once I've gotten a little older and I realize, like, there are really women that's down, but sometimes the women that might be down for that, like, oh, just trying to smash, they usually not the ones you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, the ones you, you want, you got to lie to, straight up. I know, boy. Low key, like, the ones you lie to and put in a little bit type of work, you be wanting to keep them around even more because the ones that are just easy as fuck, like, it's, it's terrible. Like, you, you tell girls to be comfortable with their body, not to be thought of, like, if they don't hold it back for a little bit, it's like, right. The other guy? I mean, for me, I'm going to take the easy smash, probably. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still take it, but you're right, though, because, I mean, it's the thrill of the hunt. Like, I think that's the one thing about getting girls. Like, that's the thing that, like, it's like, that's the thing that makes dudes keep wanting to get, because it's like, you can get in a relationship, which, I mean, I seen, we're going to talk about that later, but, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it's the thrill of keep, like, having to, you know what I'm saying, keep trying to get new new girls and keep trying to, you know, different types of girls. So, it's the thrill of the hunt that make you want to keep talking to girls, for real. It should really be a game, bro. It's crazy. It's a whole game, bro. I be loving the process more than they actually, like, getting the girl. <laughs> once you get it, it's like, all right. <laughs> Ain't thing. Then you, like, you don't even want it no more, really, by the time you get it. Like, once you get it and you done had it, you, like... All right, now I gotta work on my next move. No bullshit. And then niggas oh, always like another better quality joint. <laughs> always, bro. And then, yo, next question. So a lot of my guys on my channel, right? Because I'm black, so we both black. Right. And majority of guys, they say white guys have it easier. How you feel about that? I mean, so as far as what, like, have have it easier as far as like with certain races or just period, like with girls. Oh. We can talk about both both dating and then in life. Um, I definitely think. I mean, if we talk about life, I would definitely <laughs> say they got they got it easier there. As far as dating, I mean, maybe because I, I feel like as a as a black dude, I feel like it might be way easier for like a white dude to get a black girl, you know, than probably a black dude. But I've been meeting a lot of females lately uh, that say like they won't date no white dude, so I don't know. I mean, that's why I've been, that's why I've been meeting too. So I mean, and I feel like it's probably because we looking at it from our side, so I feel like it's probably the same thing. Like it's probably like the same way black dudes like with us is like you know you ever try to like approach a white it's it's tricky approaching white girls when you black. Yeah, it's like I don't think you can ease into it either. She fuck with you or she don't. It's right. Like, that's what I think, yeah. Right, because it's like, well, white girls, they already got it made up in their mind if they messing with a black dude or not. Like, <laughs> you know, if that's not their thing, that's not their thing. So, I mean, and they not going to tell you it's because you black. They going to probably just try to, you know, brush it off. So it's it's tricky with white girls. Like, I done had a few white girls, but it's that's like... That's not your preference, though, right? You said what? That's not your preference, though, right? No, it's definitely not my preference, but I've had a few, you know, but like, all the ones I had were they were already like interested in black dudes. So it wasn't really a thing like they didn't act black, but they were like interested in black dudes already. So I mean it made it kinda easy. It's usually harder with like the ones that are like like extra snowflakes. But black dude I mean white dudes, they probably have a they probably have a tough time with black women though. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. I imagine. Then what you think my fault. What you saying? Oh no, I was saying if they trying to get black women. So what do you think about like Asian, Asian, Mexican, um, Asian, Latinos? Asians swear they got it the hardest, bro. Like you said, Asians. Yeah, a lot of Asians, Indian guys, they always say they have it the hardest. Oh, I can see that though, cause those not really the races that like women be like thinking, but outside of their own race, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it ain't really like black women or white women or like Spanish women checking for no Asian dude or like checking for no like. Indian dude, so I mean, I could definitely see them having a harder problem. So, I mean, like, you never realized it though, right? Not oh. really, but I feel like, but oh. it don't seem like they date outside their race like that, though. You ever had an Asian girl, bro? Yeah, I used to live in Korea, bro. I lived in Korea for a whole <laughs> year, bro. 
Oh, shit, you got to tell me about that, bro. Bro, crazy, bro. Over? I had so many Asian joints out there. But, like, the thing is, I felt like I was going to have more before I got there. Like, before I got there, I thought I was going to want them more than I actually did when I got there. Like, you know, I had a few when I first got there, but it's like, it's language. If you if you mess with a, a real Asian joint, like, like in Korea, it's language barriers. Most of them don't even speak English. Like, so it's hard to even try to really even talk to them for real. That was yeah. my real, I was experiencing, like, really, like, I was in the mix. So it was like... So how you was living out there? You couldn't really speak the language. How you get around? I mean, you pick up on stuff like a lot of people out there speak English. You know, a lot of people don't, but a lot of people do. So you, I mean, you pick up on stuff. You know how to say certain stuff like, like hurry up, like some stuff. Like you know, you take you take a lot of cabs, so you could just give them a location. They'll take you there. Outside of that, I was on base most of the time, so you know everybody was American mostly. So, oh, yeah. But it was just outside, like, you wanted to go out, like, you go to the club or something, you try to talk to girls, it's like, you don't even know if you, when you're approaching them, if they even speak English or not, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, so, that's like, when I was in Colombia, when I was in Colombia, like... Oh, I know Colombia, crazy. Bro, the, the average girl out there is fucking beautiful. But, like, you it, bro. English, it's like, yeah, but you're limited, you know what I'm saying? Right. Definitely. You definitely limit it more when you uh when you in another country. Now if you talking like Americanized like Asians, then I mean I ain't really mess with none of them. I know a few dudes have, but like I ain't really I mean Asian girls really not my cup of tea for real. I ain't even gonna lie. Like unless they look unless they look some type of mixed or like like I can't just mess with no Asian. Like I, I had it in Korea, but the ones I was messing with in Korea, they all like black dudes. So they was all like Jordans, like you know what I'm saying? They were dressing like black girls. They they was Korean, but they were dressing like black chicks. Like those was the ones I was going after. I don't really want to be regular <laughs> Asian Because the Korean pop stuff is big out there, right? Oh yeah, yeah. The K-pop stuff, crazy. Those are the real Koreans. But then you got the Koreans that like, cause in eight like in Asian countries, like the thing is they all they take stuff from other cultures. So like they real Americanized out there. So it's like. They look at our culture and they like have their own version. So like it'll be like a whole group of Koreans that just only like listen to rap. They only like like black people. They only go to black clubs. Like then you got the ones that like only like Spanish music. They only go to the Spanish clubs. Like so it's like they be having their own like little like versions of America inside their country. I mean, but that's how it be everywhere. Like I swear, every culture takes a little bit of the black. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely, bro. Definitely. But yeah, they ain't really my cup of tea, so I don't really know. But I definitely think minorities minority minorities like 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 Asian and like Latin. I mean, I don't know, because Spanish dudes get a lot of girls, bro. Bro, they got it, bro. Isn't Spanish it, uh, dudes get a lot of Spanish dudes get a lot of girls, bro. bro that's a year right now, son. <laughs> so I don't I don't think Spanish dudes I don't think like Hispanic dudes really go through that type of stuff. Yeah. But it's funny, a lot of um, Hispanics do actually um, ask me, like, yo, they feel like they're in disadvantage. Yeah, but that's all. Every, to each his own. You just got to be confident, as you said yeah. earlier. Bro. I feel like you're always at a disadvantage when you're dealing outside your race, though. Yeah. When you're dealing outside your own race, you always going to be at a disadvantage. Yeah. But that actually jumps into my next question, because, like, I know you've been everywhere. You've been in Hawaii, L.A., Atlanta. I know you've been in Korea. Which one? Which place is your um, best places? Just in general, to meet girls and just in general to live in. Oh, um, let me see. Oh, man, thank honestly, God. bro, I ain't even gonna lie. Maryland was probably the littest place I was at, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. As far as like even like if we combine, because it's like some place like Korea, I was messing with way more girls, but mm-hmm. like living wise, eh, I don't really know, like. Mm. So, Maryland probably the best place as far as, like, living and, like, mm. meeting girls at the same time. Maryland probably the, the most. But I lived in Maryland longer than I lived anywhere else, though. So. Then what about L.A. and Hawaii? Oh, dang. I forgot about L.A. No, nah, L.A. LA definitely, LA is definitely number one. Oh, for real? No yeah, question? LA def- LA, LA different types of, it's different types of women, bro, out there. Like, the sun just bounce off they, they skin. Diversity. They just fuck, too. They just bu- they just bougie. They just I don't know. It's just a different it's a different type of woman in LA. Like even just living out there, just everybody just chill, like everybody cooling. 
smoking, whatever. So, I mean, but I ain't living in L.A. as long as Maryland. I had a lot of fun in Maryland, but <laughs> I, I definitely see- did. I definitely, I definitely had way more girls in Maryland than in L.A., though, for sure. Okay. What about, um, you think it's because you was in, you was in college and you lived there and you knew people there? Or do you think, like, how, how's it different outside of college versus, um, versus living on your own? So, so the thing is, when I first moved to Maryland, like, I ain't know nobody. That's why I even went to college. Cause oh. I ain't know nobody in Maryland. So I was like, damn. I was like, I'm stationed out here, but I don't know nobody that live out here. So I'm like, what can I do to meet people? Mm-hmm. So then I was like, all right, let me just go to college. I know what's girls in college. I know what's girls <laughs> in college. So I was like, I'm going to just sign up. Plus, I was working late at night anyway. So I had all day to do. I ain't had nothing to do. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to just go to college. So I think at first, like before I went to college, I was really, I was kind of limited on the type of joints I was talking to because it was like, I, I was only really talking to army joints, like other joints in the military. Dayton ass really was like kind of trash back. Like this was like 2014 maybe. So like Dayton ass was kind of trash. Like it really wasn't, you know what I'm saying, much going on on there. So that's kind of what made me go to college. And once I got to college, it was like, shoot, that's a whole nother thing in itself. I was cool after that. Once I stepped foot in college, I was cool after that. Like, yeah. I was good. Yeah. So, it's definitely harder, though. It was harder before, though, definitely. Mm. Where do you meet most of your women at? Just in general, like, you do mostly Tinder, dating, or... Hinge, bruh. Probably. Nowadays, Hinge. But it's like, I feel like it's like that now, though, because we, you know what I'm saying? That's the way we meet everybody now. Like, not even just women and men. Like, not even just, like, women meeting men and men meeting women. It's just, like, that's how you meet everybody now. It's just the way the world works. So, I mean, dating... Definitely Hinge. Hinge is where I met like the most quality, the most quality women. Hinge is crazy, dog. Hinge is crazy. crazy bro. Bro. We found out about Hinge in LA. We were going through that. We was like, bro, like it's no way all these joints. Them is joints you would think was like catfish on, on Tinder. Oh, and they all be willing to link up. That's the crazy part. Hinge is a gem, son. But the thing is, the thing the, is with those with those type of apps, though, it's like. You got to really decide who you really do willing to, like, go out with. Because it's like, a lot of these joints, a lot of these joints will go out on a date with you. Yeah. You sure. know what I'm saying? They go out on a date for the food, but for whatever. So, you got to really be careful with who you taking out these really? days. You be taking joints out for food? I be trying to do drinks, but, you know, not everyone's fucking with it, but. Most joints, are, most joints are mess with drinks, though. Drinks been my thing. Like, I'll be like, let's go get drinks. Most of the joints... I came across in L.A., you know what I'm saying? I feel like girls in other places might be different, but in L.A., they was for sure. They was with the drinks. So <laughs> I might have come across a couple that might be like, you know, I don't drink or something. Then I'd be like, all right, well, we could go get food. Or sometimes, like, if they don't drink, I probably just won't even take them out for real, unless they real bad. Yeah, because sometimes don't. Some getting foods don't really be that fun, bro. All right. It's like, because, like, we trying to force a conversation. Like, that shit can get awkward. Like drinks, we could just drinks. You know, when, when you drink and you turn it up, you you just saying whatever <laughs> on your mind. Like you really getting to know somebody. Ooh. When you when you eating, it's kind of some bougie shit. I don't know, but you spend way more. Like I spent a lot of money taking girls out for drinks, bro. For a lot, especially oh. I I be fucking with the hookah, the hookah too. And the, you be off the hookah. Yeah, with the hookah and the drink, that joint adds up. Bro, in L. A. It was like fifteen dollars a drink. But that's right huh that's the standard right well yeah that probably is standard so it's like if if i'm buying a drink and you and i'm getting you a drink that's 30 off rip and if we do that three times i already done spent 90 dollars a night and the shorty might even ghost you afterwards and you might not <laughs> even that but that's the risk that's the risk when you when, when you fucking with these not even just dating ass even if you just meet a girl out in the store that's the risk when it comes to taking a girl out it's like for me though, we gotta have we gotta be carrying conversation for a while for me to really like take oh. you out. Oh, for real? Yeah, because I mean, I feel like if you if, if you barely if you barely talking to a joint for a little bit, like and then it's like, all right, I'm gonna take you out as soon as we start talking, and then like you said, like then she ghosts you or some shit, then it's like, dang, like I just wasted ninety dollars chilling with this joint last night. 
You know what I'm saying? But it's a risk though, because you could take a joint out twice and spend a bunch of money and still get ghosted after that. Well, it's part of the game, bro. I, I can't lie, I've done it. To go oh, on, like, yeah. I mean, it. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I, uh, but like, like I've had a few joints though that I had to take. I had a few joints that I had to take out three or four times before I even like got in there. Type. Damn, what's your limit, bro? Uh, like, it remember. would depend. Cause I'm the type I only go out if I want to go out anyway. So it's like if I are if I if I just feel like going out, I hit a joint up. Like you trying to go out? Yeah. If I was already planning on going out, but it's like for me if I'm if I'm actively trying to like. You know what I'm saying? Pursue you. If I take you out like three times, bro, and I don't see no movement, like if we still on the same level we was on the first date, then nah. But if we, if if it's date three and you know what I'm saying, we different, because I had girls that was like, all right, we just met the first time. The second time was a little cooler. The third time, or well, the second time she might have been on my lap or whatever, whatever, <laughs> kissing me and all that. Like she wasn't doing that the first time. So then if, if I got that type of action the, the second time, then I'm like, all right. She could go one more time because if I take her out again, I'm probably, you know what I'm saying, I'm probably in there. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like that. But if I take you out once and, you know what I'm saying, it's nothing, and I take you out twice and it's nothing, and then the third time I see you, like, it's still nothing, then I'm probably not even going to be talking to you. Now, what you said, though, at first was, like, you only take the joints out if you want to go out, bro. That's that's oh, yeah. a factor. Because, like, if the joint bluff on you, you don't even care for real. Like yo, like I don't, I don't like taking girls off of food for first date, but like I love me some cream barbecue. So like, right. yeah, if I'm going to anyways, I might invite her there, cause like that you know, to be, be there by herself for real. That's a, and that's that's one of the things. That's don't like don't don't like make your schedule around her. Like make yeah. your schedule around you, and then if you want to go out with her, then you know make it a part of your natural. Like if you want to go get drinks anyway. It's like, all right, hit hit the shorty up, but don't like plan a whole date just for. I mean, you might could do that the first time, but like after that, after the first time, I would suggest like, you know, what I'm saying like, but a lot of times joints will hit you up before you. If, if a joint mess with you, she gonna chop. She gonna ask you when the next time y'all chilling. Like, yeah, you know, what I'm saying if you're the only one wondering about when y'all hanging out, then that means she probably don't even like. She ain't feeling you like that because there's no point chasing for real, bro. Right. If she wants you, she's going to be like, when the next time I'm seeing you, when can we hang out or whatever? But, yeah. you know, I'll be trying to go. I'll be I'll be trying to get them to the crib. Honestly, I ain't even going to lie. I don't, I'm, a, I'm a home person. I'd rather have you. But, you know, these days, bro, joints be, don't be trying to come over like that no more. I know, boy. I mean, so you just got to filter out. It's just a, I mean, it's, a, it's just a one loose situation. It's a just shoot your shot. Basically, I mean, that's the thing, though, like, a lot of dudes just won't even shoot their shot. Sometimes you just got you just gotta go with it, yo. You just gotta <laughs> shoot the shot and see what happens, bro. Like, tell me about it. All right, and that kind of like jumps into my next question too. Like, um, when do you decide that like girl should be your girlfriend? Like, what's the, and pros and cons of having girlfriends? Like, or what are you? Are you on your single wave or how you feeling right now? I mean, that's a tough. Cause I, I feel like. I feel like sometimes when we've been single for a long time, we get into this, like, you know, when you're single, you get into this little trap where you feel like, all right, like, or you might go through a drought where you're not really, you don't really got no joints right now. Or you, really, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or or when you do want something, you can't really get it at that moment because, you know, the girl ain't right there. So then that type of stuff make you want a girlfriend. So it's like, you want one, but then I feel like when you get into it, it's like, you know, you know, it's like the grass always green. It's like when you're single, it always look good to be in a relationship. When you're in a relationship, it always look good being single. So it's one of them things. I think like the pros to having a girlfriend is probably just, you know, saying you. I feel like the number one pro is for dudes. Really? Like we all know, like you always got some. You always got somebody there you can smash. Like whenever you want, type. But the con with that is. Bruh. She always she, there. Oh, playing him, bro. She Especially always there. You know? And I don't know about for most dudes, like, but for me, it's like I get tired. Like I'll get tired of you fast. I get tired of people kind of fast. So it's like you, my girl. Okay, cool. But like after, like, cause I probably already done was hitting for a long time before you even became my girl. 
Yeah. So it's like now that you my girl, it's like, cause you gotta realize once you got a girlfriend, like that's it. Like unless I mean, if you are gonna be faithful, if you're not gonna cheat, it's like that's it. Like that's all you hitting. So, and I feel like a lot of times, like. I feel like a lot of times as men, we get into stuff because we feel like that's what we're supposed to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're supposed to get a girlfriend in the future. You you know, because especially when you start getting older, it's like, all right, you got to get you a wife. You got to, you know, have you a family and all that. But it's like a lot of times we jump into stuff we ain't ready for. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot, lot to be in a real relationship, like a lot to deal with another person. So, I mean, you got to really be ready for that. And especially if you're young. It's like, it's like as men, sometimes like we, we go through the struggle phase of our life, but then it seemed like as soon as we go to like the upper part of our life where we starting to make money and starting to, you know what I'm saying? We at the peak of our, it's like, then that's when it's like, you're supposed to go get a girlfriend. But it's like, in reality, that's when you the best. That's when you got the most value out here in these streets. Ain't that crazy? Damn. So, it's kind of tough. Like, I mean, I don't been in really I've been in a few relationships, you know. I mean, but I feel like with relationships, I feel like they always like got a time limit on. Like, I really, I really don't be seeing myself really be like being with somebody forever. I know one day I probably got one day somebody might come along and change that. But like <laughs> for now, like I ain't really met nobody to where it's like I know I can deal with you for the rest of my life and only have sex with you for the rest of my life. Like. <laughs> Right now, I don't see. Right now, I don't see it. But I mean, who knows? You know, I might get a little older. And... Uh, nah, I don't know how the guys pick their wives. Man. That's that jumps my next question too. Like you were saying earlier, like you need to get your stuff right to get before you start getting girlfriend married. Now, what's what's some of the things you need to get right? Man, honestly, I feel like you got it. First of all, you gotta be right. You gotta know yourself first, cause it's like. It's like we get in the, we get in a lot of these relationships and we don't really we ain't really you know we ain't really comfortable with ourselves especially like coming into manhood you know what I'm saying you've been a lot of us like the, the people of us that did go to college and you know even the people that didn't go to college like you trying to figure your life out it, you stumbling really all through your twenties is just stumbling stumbling you, you fall you trying to figure out so it's like why you why you going through your twenties and all that and all that stuff is going wrong? I mean, because I know we all go through stuff, especially growing and becoming an adult. Like you know, you go through your times where you ain't got no money, where you ain't have no money, when you trying to figure stuff out, and it's like why you going through all that? All that stuff is supposed to be like all these times supposed to be learning about you and yourself. You got to build your you got to build your self value up before you hop in a relationship because it's like if you're not happy with yourself. How you gonna be able to bring a whole nother personality into your life? Yeah, and and be happy with that. You know what I'm saying? Then now you you ain't really and it ain't that you're responsible for their happiness, but happiness. But now it's like you are responsible for somebody else's like feelings and somebody else's like, especially if you getting married to somebody or if you about to be living with somebody or because I know for me like, I know for me I feel like I need to like. I feel like for me, I got so many like relationships in my life with like family and stuff that I need to fix before I'm thinking about getting in a relationship. <laughs> or it's a lot of dudes out here that ain't even like, you know what I'm saying, stable with, with their finances, with their job, you know, with their mental health. But it's like at the same time, you're trying to get in a relationship and bring a whole nother person into into whatever you got going on. It's like, I feel like by the time you in a about to get married or in a serious relationship, I feel like you should have your mental health straight, you know, and you also got to know what you can and can't deal with. Cause a lot of reasons relationships end is because some people don't know what they can and can't deal with. Like some people don't know that, you know, certain stuff bother them, but then you get in a relationship with somebody and you living with them or you married. Cause once you marry or you get in a relationship, like, Everything you don't like about somebody is going to magnify by 20. So, I and, then, and then these days, we don't even really be taking real time in our relationships. Like, back in the day, you had to be, people wasn't getting, like, serious or getting married till they was together five, six, seven years already. These days, it's like, we want to be with somebody for a year or two years and then be married. Like, it take way more time than that to know somebody for real. Yeah. So, 
if you just out here trying to get girls, then that's cool. Like, live your life. But before you get in a relationship, you got to make sure you, you know, make sure you know everything about yourself first before yeah. you, you know what I'm saying, get in a relationship. Too, bro. Like, you live in your mom's basement. You don't got that's no That's what I'm saying. Do you need, if you, bro, if you're still living in your mom's basement or you ain't got a job or, like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times in the black community, like with black males, you know, a lot of us got like mental fucking like mental health problems that we don't even know that we got, you know, just from just from being raised as a black kid. Because like a lot of people don't even know how what it's like being raised like young and black and as a male. So it's like a lot of us got a lot of us got like mental stuff that make it even hard for us to even really be in relationships that we don't even know that we got. You got a lot of anger, a lot of. We self. got a lot of exactly. It's a lot of anger inside of us. It's a lot of you know. What I'm saying some of us got PTSD. We don't even know about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying some like so. It's like if you if if all if you ain't sat down with nobody, if you ain't really you know got right with yourself, and it's like how you gonna get in a relationship? Like if you living in your mom's basement, bro, like you don't need to be thinking about getting married. <laughs> like it's like you should be your first your first focus should be getting out your mom's crib. And yeah. then, like, if you in your mom's crib and you just smashing joints, cool. It is what it is. <laughs> but like, you shouldn't be trying to get in no relationship with nobody. And, you know what I'm saying? You you ain't got no job. Like, what's more important to you? Yo, like, like dating shouldn't be more important than your actual life. Nah, uh, you ain't. I ain't. Yeah, like, I got to get this stuff together. That's like, how I feel. I mean, but if you just out here chilling, talking to joints, it's cool. But like, you know, it's a big step getting in a relationship, a serious one. You know what I'm saying? I probably only been in like two serious relationships, and then like, you know what I'm saying? I just recently like have lived with a, a girl, and that's like a whole different thing. Like when you talk about moving in with a chick, that's a whole different thing. I remember moving in with a chick, but I heard once you move in, all you see is hair everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it I depend on your joint. Like, I mean, I mean the girl I live with, she ain't really, she ain't really like that. Like she real tidy and clean, so. Like she, she ain't with all that hair being around everywhere and all that. But like, it's also just like your girl gonna want to be up under you. So it's like you know all the time you got to yourself where you just be in your in your crib chilling. It's like you don't even understand how much how important like space is to you until it's somebody always in your space. Like, and then during this quarantine time too, bruh. Like, like, and you know your girl already want to be up under you all the time. So. It's like imagine, imagine having somebody want to be up under you all day, like every day, like that. That could mess with your mental as well, because I know me, like I'm always used to having my own space, like my own, like I'm used to being able to talk to people when I want to talk to people, mm-hmm. and when I want it to be quiet, I'm used to it being being quiet. But like your girl in there, like, and then it's like she lived with you, so what you gonna do? Like she got the right to be around, so oh, you can't even get your break, bro. Yeah, so it's like that's another thing. It's like, are you willing? Are you willing to give up like your space and your peace, your your peace and quiet for somebody else? Like, you know, right, it's one of those see. things. But when you're ready, you know, I feel like when you're ready, you will know you're ready. And I feel like, like when you're not ready, then you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah, I was in a three-year relationship when I was like from like 2013 to 2016. For real? I, I'm like, yo, I can't do this. But I haven't been. Serious relationships since then. I've just been in situationships since 2006. What you think the difference is, though? Like, what you think, like, like, what did you learn from, like, the three years that you was in that relationship, though? Well, I learned that if you're going to be in a relationship, there's no point in cheating. <laughs> That's the biggest thing I learned. And then, like, yo, know, there's a difference between liking someone and compatibility, though. Like, that John I was with in a relationship for three years, like, yo, I could have, I could have married her, like, but I just wasn't right state of mind i wanted to be a thought <laughs> so that's like, what i'm saying yeah like and so i mature and grow up figure myself out like i can't even comprehend it exactly and that's what i'm saying that but that's what i'm saying you you real with yourself though like, you know what you're ready for and you know what you're not ready for right now yeah so yeah. that's that's what i would say take take from this like i mean you gotta know what you're ready for and what you what you ain't ready for before you ask the joint to be your girl or like you just got to really think, like, because, I mean, a lot of people, like, a lot of dudes, like, we ain't getting a relationship, but know that we still going to cheat. It's like, 
Maybe. But it's like if you if you in a relationship and you cheat and it's like what's the point? Like you might as well just be single. You can do whatever you want. Guys be one of that like <laughs> man, I was wild back in the day. Like if I go out to nightclub, I want to get a girl, I'd go back home to my girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, I feel like earlier though, I feel like when I was like a little younger, I feel like when I was earlier getting girlfriends, I feel like I was only getting girlfriends because it's like I feel like secretly nobody want to be by themselves. Like nobody want to be alone. Like I feel like secretly everybody want to have somebody, but mm-hmm. it's like you don't want to have somebody that you like only can mess with. You just want to be able to say somebody is your girl. Like that's your girl. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, guys could do the open. Rela- you ever done the open relationship? No, nah, but I think that might be my next wave, bro. Bro, I never tried it. I might you know- try that. I might try that polyamory or that polygamy. <laughs> Nah, that might be the next wave, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, cause I mean, I don't learn like throughout my life. It's really joints out there that's down for that type of stuff, bro. bro tell me about it, bro. You bro. don't know till you ask for real. That's what I'm saying. So it's like I feel like as I feel like I feel like dudes, we gotta realize that like it's it's be like I feel like we all feel like we gotta wife a joint for her to like mess with us or like. You know what I'm saying? It's girls out there who down to not be a girl. It's girls out there who down to just only. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Low key, the way I get in a relationship, if like the joint, I'm not gonna lie, unless the joint get me out to me, so I'm not. Unless she's begging me to be. If she's not begging me to be in a relationship, I'm not. I'm not even gonna ask her out for real. All right. And then if we get to that point, but like, but like, this go all the way back to the beginning of the conversation, because we like, all right. Do you do you just tell her what what she want to hear, or 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 do you just lose her and be like, look, bro, I'm not ready, like, so I'm like, you know, what I'm saying it is what it is. If you be I done got to the point where I'm like, bro, I'm gonna just start telling, like, I feel like I'm gonna just start being straight up because it's like, honestly, at this age, I'm like, I'm yeah, it's I funny. want somebody who down for what I want. It's funny, um. Most of my joints used to hate me after I stopped talking to them. That's because I wouldn't be straight up with them. Once I started being straight up with them, like, yo, like, I still have girls hit me up to this night that I dealt with before because I just kept on hunting. Some girls don't fuck with it, though. Some girls don't, but that's the thing, though. It's like, it's like the whole being honest thing, and it's like, all right, if you be real, it's like a lot. You might, you're going to probably miss out on a lot of joints that you want. Right. But it's like, but it's like, would you rather that, or you know what I'm saying? But still, you you within like the two percent of dudes that's actually being honest and telling, because they gonna always be like, well, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't shit. He told me the truth. Like he he didn't <laughs> lie to me. So it just depends what you value. You ready to lose? Right, but it's tempting though, cause you get them badge or she be like, Ugh. the badge your niggas lose sight of who they are, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like. It's like, because you know, because it's like, if you're talking to something that you know for a fact only about the message you, if you talk about wiping her, it's like, it's hard, it's hard to let it go, to be honest, like, but, I don't know, I think it's, I think at some point, you just gotta be okay with taking the L's, man. Yeah, some women just be so pressed to get in a relationship, those be the ones you gotta worry about, too, like, why are you so pressed? Are you, are you that's what, didn't want to wipe you? Yeah, but, but you know, too, but you know, like, you know what I'm saying, once you get, once girls get past that college age, like, you got to think about it, girls think about life way different than we do, so yeah. it's like, they think about it like, women, women don't want to be 30 something years old and not be in a relationship, like, yeah. they feel like they failing if they 30 something years old and they still single, don't got kids or whatever, dudes, we like, whatever, like, it don't matter to us. Like, but females, it's like, yeah, like, females definitely want relationships. Like, I feel like, I feel like majority of females want to be in a relationship with somebody. Yeah. But the majority of dudes don't want to be in a relationship. So it's like. Yeah, we got easier, for real. We got yeah, plus, plus, not even to mention, we know how other dudes operate. So it's like, it's easier for us to be like, all right, we ain't gonna be in a relationship. Because we know, like, nine times out of ten, you probably ain't gonna find nobody, like, that's gonna do it. <laughs> if we being real, cause it's like I know for me, almost all my exes are still single. Like I got a few, 
I got a few exes that got boyfriends, but like, like most of the joints I've messed with in my life, like, still don't have boyfriends. But it's funny though, right? You probably know at least like five guys who want to get in relationships right now. You don't think so? Do I know five guys? At least like three guys that would be wanting to get in relationship. Right now. Bro, honestly, oh, honestly, I got a couple homeboys in. I I got. I got one homeboy who just got out of a like like a six year relationship with a joint. And that's another thing. Like I don't be wanting to go so long with somebody that like and waste my time. It's like imagine giving six, seven, eight years of your life to somebody just to break up anyway. Bro, I'm twenty. You know what you could have been doing? Bro, that's almost a quarter of my life, bro. I'm only twenty four right now. You could have been making so many other moves. Bro. So investment money. But I probably I honestly I honestly maybe know two dudes, bro. Maybe two <laughs> or three dudes, you know what I'm saying? That's really on like a relationship wave. Like I mean, telling the girls say they want a relationship, but they don't want a guy like that's really like on a really them guys don't really be them 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 guys like why are you looking for relationship? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the thing is they holding out hope that it's this magical dude, bro, that's out there. <laughs> They holding out hope that it's this magical dude that's out there that's just like that look good, that's athletic, tall, got money, that ain't got no girl already, and that's not gonna cheat. That's the that's the dude they looking for. Looking for the Prince Charming. It's like when you find them, let me know. Cause I done met a lot of dudes in my life. And ain't none of them that dude. Hell no. That's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to figure out it's it's one of them things where it's like I think women still kind of live in like like, I think, like, women to see one person in their life, like, women to see their dad that was, like, married to their mom for 20-something years and, like, be like, oh, that's what I want, which, I mean, I understand, like, that's what you've seen, that's what you, you know, that's what you, that's what you think life is, should be, but it's like, you probably ain't realize, like, your dad is, like, one out of how many dudes out here, and not even to mention, you don't even know the half of what your mom and dad went through in their relationship. You only know what you saw. You don't know how many times your dad cheated. You don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nothing. You just know what you saw. Yeah. So. I, I uh, that. But, yo, all right, we hit in like 45 minutes. Oh, dang, we've been on joint this long? Yeah, bro. Crazy. You got any closing remarks? Um, I got the link in the description. Subscribe to your channel. I hit the description, so make sure to subscribe. And yeah, uh, y'all subscribe, yo. Uh, yeah. I, I I I mess with the channel, bro. I'm gonna keep watching the videos. You know what I'm saying? Y'all subscribe. I'm dropping. I'm trying to drop videos every day. You know, but who knows, bro? I'm I'm gonna try to drop them as much as possible though. But you know, people not dropping music videos like that, so I might start reacting to other stuff. No so, I mean, that's what I'm doing, man. Everybody stay corona-free. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a bitch. Yeah.